Swamp Bemo. Hey everyone, and welcome to another Bemo Creative Fact About Fiction video. So, this one is about the monster LSA, otherwise known as Clover. So, Clover officially designated in the movie as the Large Scale Aggressor, or LSA, is a giant monster that appears in the 2008 and 2018 Bad Robot films Clover Field and Clover Field Paradox. The monster does not possess an official consistent name, but members of the film's crew, including the designer Neville Page, on concept art and many fans have taken to calling the creature Clover. In Japan, the creature is sometimes referred to as Hakaisha, which means basically destroyer. And that name even appeared in the film in Japan. It was Cloverfield backslash Hakaisha. In the manga Cloverfield Kishin, the um, Repose of the Earth, which is a cult in that in that uh, manga, worships the creature, and they call it Kami. Clover is a quadrupedal C-type kaiju with a long forked tail. Its slender, triple-jointed front legs are longer than the entire body, ending in multi-fingered hands that can bend backward, allowing the creature to knuckle walk basically much like an ape with double jointed hind legs clover's skin is light gray to tannish colored with darker speckles uh, two external esophagi um, which end in tooth-like projections extend from the monster's lower chest the head has sharp bony features two eyes with massive black pupils and a pair of membranous sacs on the sides. This monster, the origins are left ambiguous as several theories are provided in the movies and comics. If I combine all of the lore together, I can kind of make sense of where it came from. What I surmise is that this creature is a weaponized organism, kind of like the other kaiju, um, except this one is a troop carrier type because it does have huge creatures that come out of holes in its body and that are also ride on it like, like it's a vehicle. And they deploy when the LSA is attacked. I'll probably do a video about those creatures as well. Some people call them the parasites. It appears that the monster is from another dimension, much like the kaiju in the uh, Pacific Rim movies, and even made a brief appearance in the Pacific Rim Uprising movie, which may have been one of the first portals opened and uh, makes all Pacific Rim movies canon to Clover Field. And they are both part of the same monster universe, I guess. That first portal, of course, being opened in the uh, Clover Field Paradox movie as experiments gone wrong. So the creature came from another dimension fell from space to earth into the ocean, walked the bottom to shore, and was ran into by an oil tanker near Liberty Island. Then it attacks the Statue of Liberty for some reason after being provoked, and I guess if you've seen the movies, you know what happens after that, right? So uh, Cloverfield possesses, Clover himself possesses uh, immense physical strength able to wipe out several landmarks with ease, including ripping the head off the Statue of Liberty and tossing it like a baseball. Clover's tail was shown to be strong enough to decimate uh, the Brooklyn Bridge, which I researched, and that thing is way tougher than movies make it out to be. It, it can actually hold 49,000 tons of pressure at once at all times. So that, that bridge is really hard to break and Clover just cuts right through it. But Clover is a very tough and seems to be virtually invulnerable to contra, uh, conventional weaponry, uh, withstanding shells from M1 tanks, artillery, uh, fire from M109 howitzers, AT4 rockets, AGM-65 Maverick missiles, and Mark 82 bombs. 
The bombs dropped by the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit knocked it over, but that's about it, really. The creature was, however, supposedly killed by a uh, hammer down protocol as a last resort airstrike, which leveled much of New York City in that movie, using uh, significantly heavier ordinances than the Mark 82 bombs. But since kaiju usually feed off this kind of energy, it probably incapacitated it, but it didn't kill it, more than likely. In Cloverfield Keishin, Clover has an organ in its body that transmits electromagnetic waves that control the parasites and creatures, and it creates a skin that is tightly force field-like around the creature's external body, explaining its toughness, and has feeding tube-like tentacles that come out of the esophagi. And if I didn't explain what esophagi are, they're basically like little arms that are attached to its hips that come out and grab like for fine manipulation of objects. So, what do you think of Clover? As you can see here from the, uh, from the movie, yeah, I wanted to bring this up, from the movie Pacific Rim, you can see right there in the middle of that uh, computer screen, Clover is on the screen as one of the kaiju that they had to deal with in the past. So, there you go. They are canon to the same franchise in some way, I guess. So what do you think of Clover? Leave a comment below. And that is gonna do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to Be More Creative for more Fact About Fiction videos. Thanks so much, bye.